morning. It's like five. I'm not really awake yet. Brutal. I think I have all my stuff together. I'm like, what do I even wear to this? I guess it doesn't really matter because you just change into a gown, but sweatpants. Sounds like the move. I have this really oversized zip up jacket that I'm gonna bring to wear after so I don't have to pull anything really over my head. Mama <laughs> once for they gave me this like a few years ago. So I think this will be nice to have. I'm gonna bring my iPad just in case I am coherent like hours later. So I'm not totally bored. <laughs> I'm so jealous. You get to have coffee. Are you having any or no? No, you can't. <laughs> My dad is letting me use his backpack, so I'll just put that in there. My 10 foot long iPhone cord. <laughs> mm -mm. Do not lie in bed all day. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> I was looking forward to that. Dang it. That's okay. I can go for a walk. We will see about that. Wouldn't be shocked. It's kind of reading. Okay, it says a nurse and monitor will assist you after you'll be provided medication for pain, congestion, and nausea. Um, you should be able to open your mouth. That's cool. You'll have some light guiding rubber bands in place. You may have an acrylic bite splint wired to your upper teeth. Ooh, bringing my sleep mask and earplugs. So I feel like they're gonna be like, wow, our most high maintenance patient. Imagine we get there and they're like, oh, actually you have COVID. <laughs> Cause they didn't tell me the result yet. Oh, yeah. I mean, they would know by now, and they would have been like, ah, if I did. Okay, we're heading there. Might head back. Nope, no, you're kidding. Going. We're kidding. Like, Left on Jefferson. This yeah. is like, last moments of feeling. There we are. Throw my mask on. For like the last time today. <laughs> This thing probably won't even fit over my face after. It'll be like. Oh, well, it's blocking the way. Come on. It does not want to go. I don't get it. Just over here. Thank you. Here we are. I got my wisdom teeth out here, so I feel like I'm just doing that. Oh, the same place? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, this is the, the worst moment. But this, you know, this facility has got this all figured out, so. Spa vibes with the row. <laughs> Not bad. Quite the outfit. Oh, Shelby. <laughs> you look marvelous. <laughs> that was Billy Crystal's old, old line. Oh. Love Billy Crystal. What show was that? I don't remember. You'll get to have your mask off soon, though. I know. Yeah. <laughs> lucky you. I'm so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> we just heard from the anesthesiologist, so we know the details there. You're going to get a tube through your sinus and down into your throat for the anesthesia. So we're getting close to time. <clears throat> Nervous, but determined to get through this and we've been so so well assured that she's not going to be in discomfort when she wakes up we are embracing that trusting that well we just uh saw shelby off to get prepped for surgery how you doing mom Ugh. i'm nervous yeah, me too. It, the most thing was I was, uh, I don't have any doubt that she's gonna be taken really good care of and they're gonna manage her pain well. She's gonna come out of that surgery surprisingly comfortable. Um, but just, it's really hard when you see her. Ugh. You're scared, You're so nervous and Tears are flowing, just like mine are starting to come now. Ah, you never stop being a parent. Just always will be that way. So, anyway, but it's gonna be over. 
for this afternoon. So, uh, it's been a long time coming. She has known she's going to need that. And I know there was a moment today where I thought she was going to say, okay, I can't do this. But she's a brave chicky, so she'll make it. Yep. Okay, so line. we have uh, about four or five hours to wait. They're going to call us halfway through, tell us how it's going, so that'll be great. Yeah, this is a really top-notch place, so. Okay. You're live. How's the pain level? Okay. Uh, What's tingly? that? It's tingly. Oh, tingly, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, you can use hand signals and we can ask questions. <laughs> Throat hurts. Oh, so oh yeah, you got that. Had that tube in there for your nose. He said it would be a few hours or so, not that long. So hopefully, yeah, we'll be you cruising. finished an hour ahead of what they predicted. Oh. Well, he told us that you were a perfect candidate for this, <laughs> and uh, it couldn't have gone smoother. I know. So I know. that is great to hear. Yeah. Oh, she wants the camera. <laughs> Peace out. Hey, you don't have to wear a mask. Isn't it crazy to come out of it and go, I can't believe it's over? It's weird, isn't it? It's so weird. Yeah. But we were surprised. They called an hour at, you, you know, at 9 o'clock. They started at 8, 8 a.m. At nine o'clock, they said, "Okay, we're done with the upper," and we're going, "Oh wow, that's great!" And then an hour later, they called and said, "We're all done." So from eight to ten, and so I mean, I was thinking three hours. So I'm so happy and relieved. That <laughs> you can't go. Really, don't touch. Don't touch me. All right. Okay. This, uh, this is for a thumbnail. Wow. So we'll get into a new What you're listening to right now is a pre recorded voiceover I've done because it's really hard to un understand people after they have this surgery because their jaw is kind of wired shut and numb and all of that. So this is, you know, right after the surgery. I am not as swollen as I will be on this day but i probably do look pretty messed up hopefully not too bad god recording this voiceover right now i'm like scared for like just if it's gonna be painful or not i'll put on the screen how much pain i'm in waking up and everything they say that it's not that painful because they mess with the nerves so much that they actually kind of, they don't die, but you can't really feel anything for a couple of months. Oh. Oh, you, Oliver, please be cute for that. Oliver, come here. Come here, Oliver. Oliver. Oliver, come here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So I had my surgery done at a surgery center, not a hospital. And so after the surgery, they are taking me to this aftercare center. It's called Serenity Aftercare. It's kind of like a hotel and a hospital combined. So it's nicer than a hospital. They recommended this. This is where they take their jaw surgery patients because the nurses here know what to do. It's a very specific healing process and difficult to eat. So I'm just gonna be staying here one day. Here's my room. Um, I'm probably gonna be sleeping most of this day, but online the rooms looked kinda nice. I mean, they just looked like a hotel room. My parents are in town, but they probably went to the beach or something. <laughs> I don't know, I told them to just do whatever when I'm like mostly sleeping this day. I am in pain. But they want to uh, take care of that. But here I'll probably be on just some pretty heavy painkillers. I'll put on the screen how I was feeling here. I'm hoping it's just not too painful or anything. 
And yeah, this is, you know, day one of the liquid diet. They say you're really numb this day. You probably don't really even want to eat that much. Yeah, and we'll check in and see how it's going tomorrow. And that'll, that'll be it for today.